The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to pair a Genium remote with the knee. The remote does not come paired when the knee is shipped from the factory, mainly because the knee has to be configured using the My Modes and Selection tab within XSoft software before you turn on the remote. Now the first time you turn on the remote you just hit the center button that will turn on the remote and then the down arrow to actually send the configured file from the knee to the remote. Now Genium can only have one Bluetooth connection at a time so it's important not to turn on the remote when you're connected to the knee in the software. You actually have to exit the software first before turning on the Genium remote. You can see in this instance the pairing had failed. Now if you ever get this error, the only thing you need to do is just hit the center button on the remote and the menus will come up. It says device power on in remote control settings and device power off. Just go to the remote control settings menu, select pairing in order to repair the remote. Again you see an icon indicating that the file is being sent from the knee to the remote. and the serial number for this knee pops up. It's important just to make sure that the serial number on this knee matches the serial number shown on the remote. The serial number is located right next to the on the interior part of the knee frame right next to the hydraulic unit. Now in this example you can see that the number on the remote indeed does match so I'm going to just hit the enter button on the remote to select that knee and it comes up with the name it is OB3B1 so I'm going to just toggle to that name by hitting the up arrow and the enter button to select that knee and again the file is being sent from the knee to the remote now if I have paired a second time and a serial number didn't come up one of the things that I would have done is gone back to the remote control settings menu and choose delete connection. Once the connection is deleted from the knee, I would turn on the remote a second time, go back to the remote control settings to pairing and try repairing once again. I've noticed that sometimes it takes two to three times before the remote will pair for the first time. And mainly that's because the carbon is not a real good transmitter of the, uh, the signal for the knee. And sometimes it's important that you actually take the remote and turn it around to the back of the knee to make it easier for this file to be sent to the remote. Now the user won't have to do this every time. Well, one of the things you can see is on the main screen right away what comes up is the name of the knee, the mode, and the status. So simply use the up and down arrows as navigation keys on the remote to go to the appropriate menu that you want to select. You are now ready to begin using the Genium or X2 remote. The device will, uh, the remote device will power off within about a minute and a half if you don't touch it. Um, that's fine. You don't have to change the settings. You can just put it back in your pocket once you change the modes. Yeah, and it's ready for use.